Hey guys, this is Deshanta B and I'm here with a random video that I'm going to share with you. I am cooking some skillet pork chops and I decided since I'm in the kitchen, why not share this quick and easy beginner friendly recipe with you. So to start, I have four pork chops. These have been cleaned in vinegar and water and patted dry and placed on this platter so they are ready to go. I have some black pepper, sweet paprika. This is optional guys. I just love the smell and the color of this seasoning. Seasoning salt canola oil a Ziploc bag with two cups of flour I use white lily flour if you want to know the name of the flour that I use and I have chopped up finally the last of my red onion so you would just need your skillet and moving on okay what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to season both sides of these pork chops then once I season them I'm going to place them into the flour that's in the Ziploc bag and give it a good shake okay let's go Okay guys, this is all the seasoning. Let me move you back a little bit. This is all the seasoning that I will be putting on these pork chops. Just black pepper and the seasoning salt. Okay, moving on to the flour. I'm going to place maybe two pork chops at a time into this bag of flour give it a good shake until they are well coated and then I'm going to place them on a platter You want to shake off any excess flour 
but you also want to make sure that the pork chop is completely coated so as you can see it's completely coated on both sides so I'm just going to place it on a platter and continue on with the rest of the pork chops I'm making a mess here but it's okay moving on these are the floured pork chop guys what I'm going to do is allow the pork chops to rest for about 10 minutes I'm waiting for the flour to adhere or stick to the pork chops hopefully once I place the pork chops into the hot oil I won't lose all of the flour so moving on guys I have my skillet on medium heat which is between five and six on the stove I am now going to add the canola oil to the skillet we're not deep frying so I'm not going to use as much oil as I would if as if I was frying chicken and then I'm going to add my onions to the oil the onions will cook long enough to infuse with the oil and then once the onions have cooked down I'm going to remove them and then by that time the pork chops should be ready to uh, skillet fry okay let's go I'm just waiting for the oil to get a little hot and then I'm going to add the onions so I'll be right back okay guys I believe the grease is hot enough now to add the onions so I'm just going to add the onions to the canola oil just to cook down remember we're not using these to make gravy or anything I'm just using these onions to season the oil so we're just going to let these onions cook down So as they continue to cook, I'm going to carefully continue to stir. By the way, guys, if you are not making gravy from scratch, I am not making any gravy tonight. You can discard the uh, flour that's in the Ziploc bag if you like, or you can simply place it in the refrigerator. But I threw mine out. I'll come back later, guys, with a smothered pork chop. Uh, recipe later on so I'm going to continue to allow these to cook down and as they start to uh, turn brown because right now they're becoming very fragrant then I'm going to carefully remove them from the oil and set them to the side for them to cool and then I will throw the onions away okay moving on okay guys these onions have cooked down to they have turned brown if you like your onions this way you know set these to the side and munch on them when they dry or I mean when they cool off but I'm going to carefully remove all of these onions and place them to the side 
and then we are going to start frying, skillet frying the pork chops. Okay, I'll be back. As you can see, the flour started to adhere or stick to the majority of the pork chop. This is what I was looking for. So now I'm just going to add these pork chops to the skillet. Okay guys, I'm going to let the uh, pork chops cook about four to six minutes on each side and then I will be back when it's time to flip them over. Okay, moving on. Guys, it's been about three to four minutes. Please do not be afraid to check your food. So what I'm gonna do is just turn one over to see how it looks. Okay guys, I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer on that side. Just a little food for thought guys. We all want our food to have that nice, pretty golden color. Sometimes if your outside is too golden too fast, that could mean that your heat is up too high. And also remember, just because something looks golden on the outside, that doesn't mean that the food is cooked on the inside. Okay guys, I'm going to give these about another two minutes, then I'm going to come back and flip them over. Moving on. It's been about two minutes, so I'm now going to turn the pork chops over so that it can continue to cook on the other side. And these are almost done, guys. I give them about another six minutes, and that's all to it. As you can see, I've lost some of the flour, but that's okay, guys. What that tells me is that the oil wasn't hot enough when I initially put the pork chops in. See, we all can learn. Okay guys, I'm going to give these another four, four to five minutes and these pork chops should be done. Mm. 
now guys I believe that these pork chops are done I just want to share something with you guys that my grandmother taught me because she was an excellent cook she was a cook by trade when you're cooking it can be for chicken anything that you're frying not only do you pay attention to your smell but you pay attention to the what you hear just like when you cook chicken when you first put it into the oil is doing what my grandmother used to call dancing once the oil becomes quiet nine times out of ten your food should be just about done so this oil has become very very quiet and I'm just going to remove the pork chops place them on a plate with some paper towels then transfer them to a nicer plate not my paper plates that you guys complain about and then these pork chops are done okay These pork chops are done. Okay, I'll be back with the final presentation. Okay guys, the, this is the finished product of the super easy beginner friendly skillet fried pork chops. So what I'm going to do now guys is just simply just add just a little of the black pepper this is why I didn't season the flour oops sorry guys just a tad bit of the seasoned salt and the sweet paprika I just love this stuff I love how it the color that it gives to the food and here you have it guys my super super simple super easy beginner friendly skillet fried pork chops so you know what I'm about to say give this recipe a try and stop playing and until the next recipe bye guys Unfortunately guys, I can't do a taste test on these lovely looking pork chops. I don't eat pork, but I will tell you they smell wonderful. Okay guys, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. 
like, share, and subscribe. But most importantly, guys, thanks for the support and give this recipe a try. You know what time it is. Stop playing. Bye, guys.